Uh, you'd prepare for a video interview the same way that you prepare for a face-to-face -face interview. So you want to be dressed professionally, you want to make sure that it looks like you've made an effort. Um, before you start the interview, make sure that you've prepared in the same way as well, as far as researching the company, um, thinking about some examples that you can share for behavioural questions, um, and being confident talking about your skills and, and strengths that you can bring to the role. Um, bearing in mind these interviews are really short, so the more prepared you are ahead of time, the more you can fit into to the short 20 minute or so gap. For a video interview, I would say just prepare as if you um, were doing a face-to-face -face interview. So research the role and the company, practice with your family and friends on answering some questions, and have some examples from your previous experience. So if you're asked, um, you know, list us your strengths, um, if you say you're dedicated, give us a, a reason why you say you're dedicated. So um, I sh I, I'm a dedicated person, I can show this through um, my commitment to my sport team um, over the last three years um, as part of you know, that teamwork of going to practice and turning up to games. So in terms of preparing for video interviews, um, the main thing that I would suggest is one of the simple things is getting, getting used to the sound of your own voice um, because with video interviews you are talking to a laptop and we appreciate that that can be a little bit unnatural. Um, so things like talking to yourself in the shower, if you're in your room, talk to yourself. You might sound a little bit crazy but at least you're familiarising yourself with how you sound. Um, talk to yourself in the mirror, things like that. It's really important to check technology, so anything can go wrong with technology, so making sure you're familiar with your webcam, your microphone, as well as your surroundings, so the lighting is really important, um, making sure that there's no distractions um, surrounding you, um, and that you're really comfortable um, with the use of your technology. So when you get a video interview from Deloitte, you have time to read through, there's lots of instructions for you to go through, so make sure you're clear on what you need to do. There's normally five questions there or thereabouts with a, a sixth question that's kind of a free-for-all so you can say what you need to. Um, so you have time to see what those questions are and prepare a little bit. But my key advice is don't over-prepare, don't script all your answers because we can tell. I looked at some of the questions we used last year and gosh I would feel challenged by some of these questions that you're being asked so don't despair the f first five questions are, are they're meant to challenge you but the sixth question is the one where you've got two minutes two minutes to tell us all about yourself and who you are and why you want to work for Deloitte and that actually is the first question I go to because it actually shows me the true person that's sitting in, on the video in front of me. So I actually want to see that question first. That's your chance to shine and to show us who you are. You can show your personality during a video interview by looking at the camera, um, avoid reading off the screen. You'd be surprised how many students do that. It's very obvious to the person reviewing the video. Um, smile, be yourself, um, there's no reason why you can't introduce a little bit of humour, obviously you want to stay professional, um, but if you can um, introduce yourself at the start, a bit of an elevator pitch on you and, and why you want to join the company. It can be a little bit more difficult to show your personality in a video interview because you're not, you don't have that you know, backwards and forwards between the interviewer and yourself building that rapport. So um, my advice would be to have personal examples because that way you can say, um, you can give your answer um, and then show a little bit of your, yourself and how you deal in certain situations and that will come across um, in the video interview space. It is really important to be as natural as you can. Um, try not to be scripted. Um, try not to come across as a little bit robotic um, in show in reading off off anything in particular. It's really good to have visuals on either side of the screen, um, but you don't want to come across like you're just reading off a piece of paper. So I think being in terms of trying to be yourself um, and try and show your personality, it's good to maybe add some humour in there, appropriate humour, um, and things like that. Just try and be as natural as you can. So if there's any technical issues ahead of a video interview, reach out to your recruiter and they'll help you solve them. Uh, don't try to start the interview if you don't have a proper secured Wi-Fi connection or if you're having laptop issues. It's better to postpone the video than to complete it um, at a low standard.
So it's important to be professional uh, when you're interviewing and doing video interviewing. So similar to what you would expect to see when you go into a face-to-face -face interview. The whole team could see it, possibly. It's dependent on who's part of the process. Generally, um, it will be someone from HR and maybe in a hiring manager as well. Video interviewing generally happens in the initial stage of a recruitment process and it is only the recruiter who will review your video. Uh, at Accenture, 100% is only the recruiters. So depending on the particular stream that you've applied for or that we're considering you for, you may have a different recruiter, but it, it doesn't go further than, than the HR recruitment team. So at Deloitte, the video, the video interviews are normally viewed by the recruitment advisor who's looking after that. If that's not the grad rec recruiter, because we get so many applications, it'll be another member of the team. Um, and then if you're successful, the video interview goes through to the service line. So within each of our uh, service areas or business areas, they've got dedicated team members who do the grad rec rec recruitment each year and they will look at your video. So it's not everybody, only select people can see your video. So in terms of who the video interviews are viewed by, um, at KPMG, we, the recruitment team, do have access to view them, but it's that point in our process where they do get passed on to partners and senior managers. Um, so they're the ones that actually review the video interviews, which can sound a little bit daunting, um, but it's a really good chance for you to kind of add an extension to your CV. So it's putting a face to the name um, and just, yeah, showing, showing us who you are. Other things that a student needs to know in terms of video interviewing, um, one of the important things that I do always say is to just be conscious of the pace. Um, so we at KPMG give you um, two minutes to review the question and then two minutes to answer the question as well. Um, so just thinking about how you can answer the question, it's really important to us that you don't go off on a tangent and um, that you bring your answer back to what we're actually asking you. Um, we, you know, we understand that you want to get as much information to us as you can within that two minutes, um, but we want it to be relevant and we want it to be punchy. So just thinking about your pace and your stride um, when you're answering those types of questions. One of my tips for video interviews is don't script your answers. Have some idea about what you want to say, but don't script them. And don't have them all written down and put off to the side of the video. We can tell when your eyes are travelling over and you're reading from your script. Um, and it doesn't really impress, to be honest. So, you know, have some idea, have a little bit of a practice, but don't read off a script is one of my pieces of advice. In terms of video interviews, pay attention to when the video interview is due back. You'll get a finite window to get it completed. However, we did have some examples this year of people who were overseas on internships and things um, who were unable to get to the video within the time frame we'd specified. So we were able to give them extension on that. So reach out to the team and let them know that you can't do it for whatever reason. We're pretty understanding. But on the flip side of that, we recruit as we go. So the longer it takes you to get your video interview back, the chances are that you, you know you might not get an interview if you take too long to get it back so but if there's a problem then absolutely reach out and talk to us wherever you do your video it's well lit it's quiet test your equipment make sure your video works your microphone works um, we have had some very interesting videos, cats jumping through windows, all sorts of stuff. Um, and the students in question have done very well to keep going. Um, but yeah, try to make sure that you know your flatmates aren't going to burst in on you whilst you're doing it, or you're not doing it at four o'clock in the morning. And you know we can see you and hear you um, is really key because this is your one chance. You've got six questions for us to go. Yes, this person should come in and meet with us. So uh, make it count. So the most important things to remember with a video interview is to dress professionally, do your research, smile, be yourself and don't read off the computer screen.